Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of the Sims 3 to Sims 4 series where we are recreating the Sims 3 families and their homes in The Sims 4. So today we are recreating the Alvi family, which I fell in love with when I created them in their house. Not a family that I've played with ever probably in The Sims 3, but I really fell in love with them, creating them. They're such a unique and fun household. Just a lot of family dynamic, a lot of personality, a very fun story. So their family description says, Young Mirage Alvi wishes that his teenage brother would stop giving their dad such a hard time. Is there some way he can help the two make amends? So this family consists of a single dad and his teenage son and his child son. And he was raising them both. And the family description, um, well, I just read the family description, but like the detailed description on Sims Wiki says um, it, there's no um, proof that they even really have a mother as far as like in the family tree. She's not in the world, but we know that they have a mother because it's like mentioned. And I think it's um, VJ, which is the teenage son's biography. Um, but it does say that vj which is the teenage son it kind of blames his dad for the reason why their mom left um doesn't really give any details on why she left or where she went but yeah i just think it's the fun family dynamic um but anyways we have created the dad already and his name is um you guys <laughs> i'm not very good at pronouncing these names because they're obviously uh from like a different country or something i don't even know like what descent they are I, I need to look it up i should have done that but i didn't but i think it's Ik ikbal Ik Ikbal. Ik ball i'm gonna call him ikball <laughs> that sounds uh like ikball like ikball but <laughs> i don't know how to say his name but anyways it says the father of two boys ikball's wife left unexpectedly one day leaving him to raise his sons alone he wants only the best for them but one son is a rebel who tests his patience can he raise his sons and find love again and he is um a very interesting or unique looking sim he has a unibrow and i did keep the unibrow just because i think that's uh just kind of unique to who he is um i try to give them like a little bit of a makeover because i think the sims look a lot better in the sims 4 anyway so it's always an upgrade but i did want to keep their their style and their hairstyles and outfits as similar as possible but i do use custom content so anyways i did leave the little unibrow for him he does have like a receding hairline he is a little bit i, I wouldn't say he's like obese or anything because he's not but he's not the healthiest i guess you would say he's um not very slender and yeah i don't know i just i really like him he's a different sim he's unique um and he is like i said single a single dad he is a report processor in the business career so he's trying his hardest to you know make the money and the means to provide for his family his personality is absent-minded no sense of humor neurotic couch potato and an angler and his lifetime wish is to present the private aquarium, which I actually gave him the lifetime wish to be a super parent because I imagine that he would just want to be the best dad he can be for his kids, even though he doesn't have the best relationship with one of them. And their, um, or his son, not their, his teenage son's name is VJ, which not really sure what VJ stands for. It doesn't tell us, but it says he is a troubled teen. He blames his dad for his mom leaving. He doesn't have any aspirations in life and is a horrible student. He spends his time inventing new ways to torment his father. So he sounds like a ray of sunshine. <laughs> he sounds like a little hellion. <laughs> but anyways, he is a high school student. He's a teenager. He is a C student, so he doesn't make like the best grades. Like I said, he's a horrible student, doesn't want to study, you know, just no, no goals, nothing. <laughs> and his personality is he's a snob, he's childish, inappropriate, and evil. So just a wonderful sim, like just so much fun, as you can bet. <laughs> and um, yeah, he has a mohawk, and the mohawk that comes with the base game, um, I found like a CC version of that, which 
just made it a little bit shorter and not as tall which I liked a lot more and so I used that but in The Sims 3 he kind of has um, blue roots he has blue roots and a black mohawk so it's like blue roots black hair you know you've seen the picture and he has blue eyebrows I don't know don't ask me a little strange <laughs> but I didn't um, really give him the blue eyelashes or the blue hair period I just gave him the black hair which was actually the black with the little tints of gray in it because the black option was like green and then there was red and I didn't like that so I just kept it kind of black so it's kind of got the like gray tinges in it but you can't even tell but I think it looks nice he has like a very punk rock style he's very like different he's himself um, a very rebellious style I guess you would say so yeah I imagine that uh, <laughs> he's a lot of fun and then also he um, usually if you played with his family he would kind of generate to have like a crush on Blair not Blair Blunch Darlene Blunch Blair Blair is Blair Rainwright, which was from the roomies. Okay, yeah, not Blair. Her name is Darlene. I think Darlene's the teen. Yeah, Darlene Bunch, which we will see them next. They are the next family that we are recreating, the Bunch family. So you will meet her. She's a teenager as well, and she's a little bit of a rebellious type herself I imagine that they are not very good influenced on each other he's trying to keep up with her she's trying to keep up with him um so yeah I just think that'd be a lot of fun to don't like it's just so much fun there's so many details behind all these sims I just I love it <laughs> but yeah that's VJ and his little brother's name is Mirage and his biography states that he uh, he has aspirations in life, unlike his brother. He gets along well with both his brother and his father and is the mediator in the family. He wants a career someday in law enforcement. So he is an elementary school student. He is a C grade student, but he does have goals, and I think that he definitely would do his homework and study, try to be very good at school so he can excel in life <laughs> and his traits is um he is good he is neat and he is family oriented so he's the opposite of his brother pretty much but he does get along with his brother he has a good relationship with his brother and his dad so yeah little mirage is just trying to like bring the family together which i imagine can be like probably a little hard on him but anyways i just i love that family i never paid much attention to them in the sims 3 honestly I guess because they just wasn't the most attractive family. I know that sounds awful, but it is what it is. <laughs> um, but I love, 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 love their backstory. And their house in The Sims 3 was, like, in one of the poor neighborhoods. And it definitely needed some, like, upkeeping. They definitely don't have a, a lot of money. You can tell that it's, like, kind of overgrown. They have, like, a lot of junk. The inside was very messy. And the inside was just weird. Um weird it just kind of reminded me of like maybe like an old store or something that got converted into a house I don't I don't know any other way to explain it but there was like windows from the bedrooms looking into the living room which was really weird and I did not do that <laughs> um so yeah I definitely tried to make the house look a little bit unkept as you see in the backyard as I'm doing like the fencing back here I did leave um, some some blanks there I guess you would say kind of to make it look like they're missing some of the wood and in their fences and um, I made the house like a little bit more dingier they have like dirty wallpaper and dirty tiles dirty cabinets dirty appliances um, the cheapest of the cheap and I did include some of like the hole patches in the wall that came with um, I think it came with the vampires pack so yeah, you can definitely tell that they're they're struggling a little bit, but like I said, I think it gives their house and their story so much personality, and it just makes sense. But the house is two bedroom, one bath, and I did include laundry. I was able to squeeze that in the bathroom, so they do have a little laundry room there, but... Anyways, I imagine that, like I said, they wouldn't have, like, a lot of nice stuff. And I try to keep in mind when I'm doing, like, the decorations or interior of a house with 
um, single dad that he probably wouldn't have a lot of paintings, a lot of decorations, a lot of plants. I just kind of feel like that's more of a woman's job they're doing when it comes to like decorating stuff. We, we want things to look nice. Um, so I tried to keep that in mind when I was doing the interior of the house. So I kind of tried to make a little bit of the furniture, a little bit mix match. I pulled out some debug objects like um, the obviously remote. I use that in every build now because you know a remote you need one for your TV. It just makes sense. I pulled out like a soda can. Just you know try to messy it up a little bit to where it doesn't look the cleanest because um Iqbal the dad somebody tell me if I'm saying that right I know I'm not I just I cannot be saying that cannot be his name Iqbal <laughs> it may be though anyways he is a slob and Mirage is more of the um clean freak in the family cleaning up after his dad and his brother but Still, I imagine that it would look a little bit messy because he's a kid. He can't, like, do all the cleaning. He's got priorities, you know, like being a kid and doing his homework and stuff. So, yeah, I did put, like, a little vase over there. And I put a plant here or there just because um, I imagine that he would try to make it look nice. Um, and, I, like I said, I put those um, wall patches kind of like the wallpaper is tearing off in some parts of the house. And I try to, like, cover it up or or give the illusion that they were trying to cover it up with like paintings and bookshelves and stuff like that but <clears throat> anyways over here I gave them like a little bookshelf like, as far as the entryway and a coat rack and then I put some like sports stuff um, there too I imagine that the boys would you know kind of have their clutter around the house as well and as far as the dining room <laughs> it's a little bit more mix match than any other part in the house I just pulled out um, a different a bunch of different type chairs like I said I just imagine that he wouldn't go and buy like a, a dining room set you know I don't think men think like that and especially if you're considering this family kind of being a little bit more poor a little bit more struggling kind of like in poverty that they're just doing the best they can he don't mind going to the goodwill and picking up a chair it's a chair he ain't worried about it but I think it gives the house so much personality and I really do like it and I used that little um display for a liquor there <laughs> and I used that I just I don't know you know you could use your imagination and say maybe he likes to drink. Maybe Iqbal likes to drink. There is no, there's like no, there's nothing in the biography as I read that states that. Um, and just because you have liquor in your house doesn't mean that you like to drink. But it does say that VJ blames his dad for his mom leaving. So, I mean, it's up to your imagination as to what you think happened. Um, it could be an affair. It could be because he was lazy or maybe he didn't have a job until he had to get one. Maybe he drank too much. Maybe he just didn't treat her right. I mean, there's just so many, so many possibilities to take that story how you want to. But anyways, I did put the liquor in there just because I imagine that him having the stress of being a single dad, working, he would like to come home and have him like a glass of whiskey every now and then. Probably VJ would get into it being rebellious as he is and get in a lot of trouble But you know, it's not functional. You can't even like go to it and like get liquor, but just it's just pretending okay <laughs> and in their kitchen area Like I said, I did give them like the dingy cabinets and the um, dingy appliances and I cluttered up some of the stuff here on the microwave which I've never done before and I think it looks really nice and I just recently downloaded that red shelf I don't even remember what it's called OMPS OM something shelf that um, I know a lot of simmers have been using but I know one of the main ones that introduced me to it was Dawn aka Simlessly which I think I talk about in every speed build just because I she's my favorite builder ever um I've seen her use that a lot and like I said a ton of other builders and I had tried to download it a while ago and I could not figure out how to use it so I ended up like going through my CC and deleting it but I just recently downloaded it back um, so 
the next video that you see, I might be using it. I think it probably helps a lot more when it comes to stacking stuff and cluttering stuff, which I'm trying to get better at doing. So, yeah, you may see me use that in the future. But anyways, that's besides the point. <laughs> Moving on to the bedrooms here. I did go back in and give them closets just because y'all you know, know I like to do that. And I did give... Um, his dad's room it will both of the bedrooms have the very dirty carpet it's just not a very well-kept house but you know it's their situation and they roll with it i just i love it i love houses like this they're my favorite to play in in the sims because it just adds so much personality and it's 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 real life it's realistic um but his room is very plain jane didn't really like add a lot of like decorations. Didn't imagine, like I said, that he would do a lot of decorating. And I did give him a desk area um, just because he is in the business career. So that is going to require him to have a computer, um, which, you know, I imagine that he would have a computer. Okay, they're not like that poor. They have a TV, they have a computer. Um, I just, I don't like to go and struggle with the, going to the library to do your work. You know, it's just, no. So I pulled out the laptop, but I got the abandoned laptop that came with Strangerville, which I got the abandoned one because it looks kind of dingy. I don't think that it would be like the newest computer or laptop that he has, just one that maybe he, he got from like a resale page or something. And it turned out more expensive than like the normal one. Not really sure why it did say in the description that it may have some secrets on it when it has to do with Strangerville, I guess. Maybe that's why. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, moving on to the boys' bedroom here. They do share a bedroom since it's only two bedrooms, so I imagine that BJ probably doesn't like that very much. Um, but yeah, it's... This is a little bit mixed match because I imagine that VJ would have like, you know, the rebel gothic style room. And I imagine that, that school <laughs> um, rug there, which I wasn't sure if I was going to use that at first. But I decided that it kind of just brought out that personality and just him. Because, you know, his brother's a child. He's going to have like his toy boxes or whatever. So he's like, nah, dude, we're going to have this super cool skull rug. Um, and I put like a bunch of posters and stuff on his wall. And I gave him a little boom box or boom box. Who calls it a boom box? Like a little stereo. And then I pulled out the little headphones um, that came with, well, it didn't come with anything, I guess. I mean, I'm sure it's a debug from a pack. I just don't know which one. Probably, if I had to guess, probably get together because of the DJ thing, you know. I pulled that out and sat that there, which just, I love the debug objects. Just brings out so much personality i gave them a little desk area to do their homework in and for Mir for mirage to do his homework in um and i did kind of like messy their room up a little bit which like i said mirage is supposed to be more of like a neat freak which i don't even think i gave him that trait i gave him the good trait so if you wanted to play them you don't have to give him the neat trait if you didn't want to um, but I did kind of like clutter up the room a little bit and make it look a little bit messy, but I think it turned out really cute. Um, I didn't put like a ton of toys in there. I imagine that he wouldn't have like a ton of stuff. And here is the bathroom. It was big enough for me to put like a separate shower and bathtub, which that's good. And then I still had room to put some cabinets for a sink. And like I said, I did add a washer and dryer in there because I was going to put, you know, like a clothesline outside, but then I was like, no, because he probably wouldn't go and hand wash clothes. That's just something a man probably definitely wouldn't do. So I did add that in there, but now that I'm looking at it, I wish I would have kind of mixed matched the dryer and the washer, made it a little bit more realistic, like he didn't get it as a set, but... I didn't think about it <laughs> until just now, so oops. And then also, another thing I did off camera, I forgot, I realized that when I was doing the bathroom, I didn't put any of the um, patches on the wall, so before I went to download the house or save the house to uh, my gallery so I can, or my, 
yeah, my gallery before I uploaded it to the gallery. I did go back in and change that and add that to the wall. So that is there. But anyways, we are at the screenshots now. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video in this house. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not. House and Family is available for download on the gallery. So be sure to check that out. And with that being said, love you guys. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye. Thank you.